In today's video, you learn how to take a WooCommerce store. In this case, I've got the mobile version of the store loaded up here, and I'll show you how to convert that online store into a mobile app that will run on Android or iOS. I'll show you the steps I took using a tool called App My Site. This allows you to take your WordPress website and turn it into a mobile app um, just using a graphic interface through this tool, App My Site. So I'll show you the exact steps that I took to convert this store into a mobile app. So if all that sounds interesting, then keep watching. Okay, as soon as you log into App My Site, the first time you'll get a walkthrough where it will guide you through the creation of your first app. Now, if you want to try this, there's actually a free trial on App My Site where it will allow you to work on your own app and preview it and test it out. If you actually want to publish it um, live onto an app store, and then you'll actually need a plan. So at the moment, there's some really good plans on sale on AppSumo. I'll put the link in the description. $59 is the one I've got here that'll let me do up to three apps. So that's what I'm using today, but let's, let's go ahead and get started on this app. So we just need to fill this one out here. So I'm gonna call this one Ideaspot Store and the app type, in my case, I'm using a WooCommerce store. So I'm gonna use WooCommerce app. The other options are a regular WordPress website a uh, standard website, any kind of website will go with this one or a custom app, which will let you build from scratch using the app, my site uh, content management system. But I think this one to me is the most interesting application of this tool. So I'm gonna go with WooCommerce and I've got my AppSumo deal here. The website is at Ideaspot Online. This is the WooCommerce store that we're gonna be converting into an app. So let's go ahead, create this one. And this is our main dashboard area. As we can see, I'm on a pro plan that gives me lifetime support and updates without any recurring charges for my three apps that I can develop on the deal that I'm on here. And we've got uh, six steps to do to set up the app. So let's start with the app icon here. So we can actually upload something or start designing. Let's see what I've got for the design tools. So here we've got lots of templates to choose from. In my case, this is a beauty skincare WooCommerce store. So let's search for beauty here and let's go for something that might suit the skincare. I think this one looks okay here. Let's go with that. Now we can customize this a bit. So instead of beauty, I could make it say idea spot, for example. Let's make that a little bigger. Seems okay. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And let's just save that in. That looks all good. I'll just see it save here. And now let's head back to the dashboard. Okay, next step is splash screen. So this is a screen that pops up during when the app is loading. So about three seconds, it says. So let's start designing. We can also upload image for our splash screen as well, but I think let's check out what they've got here. So again, searching for beauty, there was loads of uh, templates I could choose from. I like the look of this one. So that's what we'll go with today. And you can customize this text to suit your own project. For example, I changed the URL to match my website here. Let's just save that in. Just takes a second and that looks all good. Let's head back to the dash again. Okay, next step is to install the plugin. We have to upload and activate the WordPress plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we just generate a plugin key and install the plugin to our WordPress site. So that link takes us to the app my site plugin. We just install it onto our site and then activate. Just paste our key in here and hit submit. So that looks all good. I've got the green success message there. Now we should be able to go ahead and verify here. And we've got our success message. And the next step here, grant access. So this uses a WordPress application password. I'll show you how to get to that in WordPress here. Basically you go to users, select the administrator you wanna use here, go to edit and scroll down and you'll find application passwords. So we'll call this one app my site and add a new application password. And you'll get something like this. You just need to copy that and bring it back to here and put in your application username and password here. And then we go ahead and verify. So that looks all good. And we can save that on. Now we've got our little green icon here. We can head back to our dashboard. So we've done four out of six steps now. We have to do the bottom bar. Let's check that out. Here we can customize the bottom bar of our app here. So uh, there's home, shop, categories, videos, and profile by default. If you wanna hide any of those, we can go ahead and just hide the videos, for example. That wouldn't be relevant in my application. And if you wanna, Check out the settings here. We can tweak the colors and fonts. Um, I'm not keen on this purple, for example, so I could just go ahead and change that, make it maybe a, more of a neutral gray. There's actually a gradient, so there's actually several colors we have to tweak here. I think for simplicity, let's change it to solid and just go with uh, just a nice neutral gray. That looks pretty good. I'm just a boring engineer, so this is probably what I'm into, but don't know about running a beauty website 
But you can actually change these uh, icons as well. If, for example, if you want to change this home to something else, but I think these are these are okay. Sometimes people like a basket rather than a bag, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward to go ahead and change these kind of things. So you can basically create any icon and any link you want on your WooCommerce site with this uh, setup here. Let's go ahead and save this in and back to our dash. And the last one here is notifications and your app's first push notification. Let's try that out. So this is where we can actually build the app. So we can build the Android version and the iOS version here. We can then download them, test them on devices, and we can also publish them to the relevant stores as well through this process. But before we do that, we can actually preview it through the App My Site interface as well. So click preview here. And here we can choose the type of device we wanna preview on. For example, iPhone 14, let's go with that one. There's a few options in here for different versions of iPhones as well. So go ahead and click start. And that'll load up your app. For example, I've got the shop page here and that will show you what it'll be like on the device. And you can also test on a real device as well. Go through the process there, link it up with your mobile device. For example, I've done that here and I can check it out on a real device as well. So perfectly good way of developing an app using WooCommerce and you can build it into a real mobile app. And I'm not gonna go through all the customizations you can do here. We just touched on the bottom bar during our development here, but there's lots of things you can do with your color theme and your home screen, for example. You've got your overall color theming and text options here. And App My Site automatically takes all the uh, sections out of your WooCommerce store and puts them on here where you can toggle them on or off on your home page of the app as well. So really customizable in terms of setting up your WooCommerce store as an app version. So overall, I'd have to say, if you're interested in uh, learning a little bit of app development and you just want a simple graphic interface to get started with, I think this is probably one of the quickest ways to get started in this area. You can go ahead and try that free trial. And there's also that link in the description, which will give you the pro version lifetime access for a pretty good deal as well. So check that out if you're interested, but thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, but um, I'm Alex from IdeaSpot. I'll see you next time.